Hi, I'm Dave Good, President and Founder of Good Ski Technologies. Regina, some exciting news, tying the women's world record and setting a new overall world record. Simply amazing. Tell me about it. The solemn record was the first one that I did, um, the first record that happened this weekend. And it was in the second round, the, um, I started it to tw uh, 32, just to make sure that I could have a 39 headwind. And um, in practice this week, it's been going really good. I got my fin all set up and everything. And it's been really sick skiing. And um, the other day before the tournament on Wednesday, I, I had ran 39 with Adam driving. My dad was in the boat watching. And I was ready to go in. I was like, let's just take it in. I'm, I'm done. I'm ready for the tournament. And my dad's like, no, no, no. We have to run. We have to try 41. We have to try 41. I was like, well, I guess it's kind of a good idea because I've never done it before. And um, so I tried it and I fell around one. I was like, there's no way I can get one ball. Like, this is, I'm too short. <laughs> and then I tried it one more time and, and I did make one. So I was like, okay, like, this is, this is could happen like if I get a good start at 39 I can be calm throughout the course and, and make 39 and I can get one I can tie the record and um, I had a perfect little headwind going on on Saturday and or I guess it was Friday we had a perfect little headwind going and I had a great start and I just kept telling myself be calm be calm don't do anything stupid and I was pulling the six ball and I out the gates and I just it was the best feeling ever um, I was more excited, I think, about running the 39, and then I realized, like, I gotta calm down. I gotta get, I gotta get home around one more buoy, and um, I just made sure just to get one buoy and uh, had kind of slack, but I just held on and and had one at 41. It was the happiest moment ever. Well, <laughs> you're now on the 9900 SL. What can you tell me about it? Yeah, the 9900 is the way to go. Um, it's, it's a fast ski, it's powerful, um, there's really no offside turn with the 9900 SL. You don't have an offside and um, and it's just been a, a great ski since, uh, since I've gotten on it. Um, there's really nothing that's not phenomenal about this ski. How about the PowerShell boots? You weren't on them previously. No, I just got on these um, at the start of the season. Um, I got on the PowerShell 5s. I've been on um, just Wiley binders before this and um, noticed instantly that just even through the wakes I have more power, more control, um, more power that I can handle. Um, before with my other bindings, um, just the, the rubber bindings, I couldn't handle the power if I could even create the power. Here with the PowerShells, um, I, I have more control of what I'm doing in the course. Um, and you know you can set them up to where it's the same setting every time and you're locked in and you're ready to go. Um, it's been a, a great move for me. Once you tied the slalom world record, what did you do to prepare to set the overall world record? I know you didn't have your normal average trick run with a fall on the last flip. Well, um, the tricks, of course, you know, it was a bummer, but it was only one flip that I had fell on. My last flip so you know it was frustrating because it's like man I've you know I had it I could have said it huge but um you know it was still in grass and once they when they told me that it was I needed to jump 166 of course I was like oh my gosh because the last five rounds that I've had in tournaments I have jumped 165 and landed 165 and that was it and so it was like oh my gosh I have to go one foot further what I have been jumping the last five tournaments that I have been in and it was just kind of frustrating, but also it was it was good because it pumped me up. I was like, okay, well, it's not something that's like out of my reach. Like I can totally do this. Um, and the first jump I had was not good. I was like, oh my goodness, here we go. And the second jump was like, you know what? I just need to take this like I would take it if I was just doing regular jump jumps tournament. And I did, and it and I had a great jump. And I was like, okay, that felt really good. And in my head, I said. I bet it's 165, like, my luck is giving 165, and we drove by, and everyone on shore was yelling and screaming, and I'm like, I don't know what the score is, like, is it 165, did I tie the world record, the overall record, and then the boat, they're screaming and hollering, I'm like, what is the distance, it was 169, 
and I was, and I, they told me it like right before we went around the turn island to set up for my third jump. And they're like, go home, go home. And I was like, no, 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 I think I can do one more. I'm going to do one more jump. So you just see if I can, you know, put it out any, any further. And, and I went 170 on the last one. So, um, you know, it's a good overall score. And hopefully I can do the slalom again and the jump again and, and land the last one so that I have an even higher um, trick score next time. At the Cory Pico Ski Center, there are a lot of good skis here. Uh, why do you think so many skiers are using good skis? Well, it's the best product that's out there on the market. You can't get a better ski. Um, the quality is just phenomenal. The ski is phenomenal. You get on the ski, you're instantly going to pick up passes. You're going to pick up buoys instantly. You're going to have to work less, um, which is the best thing. You pick up buoys, you work less. You can't really ask for anything better. Um, the ski's great. You have no offside turn. You turn both sides equally. Um, it's just a dependable, great ski. 